finally, finally, the Giants get over the hump. I'd like to share this victory scotch. And this is good scotch, by the way. 21-year-old Glenn Fittig. I want to share this victory scotch. You broke out the good scotch for this game. Yeah, I know it's a regular season game. I know we're three and seven. I know we have not been a good team, but this feels amazing. You know, three weeks ago, I came on here. I said the Giants are the best team in the NFC East. People laughed at me. Of course, that's going to happen. I have been up and down with this team all year. I've been overly critical of times. I've been thinking with my heart sometimes. But at the end of the day, like I said before, I'm just, I'm, I'm an emotional Giants fan. I love this freaking team with all my heart. I bleed blue. And I know everybody that watches my channel feels the same way. This feels good. It's a regular season victory, but man, this could mean so much for the New York Giants going forward. And I'm telling you right now, guys, I have a bigger glass, but I got to work tomorrow. What a game by the New York Giants today. They came out early on and established the line of scrimmage uh, really quick. Their first two drives of the game set the tone. They went, they went 85 yards. They went 75 yards right at the beginning of the game. They return the ball out to the 15, didn't look good. Daniel Jones gets sacked, first play of the game. Second down to 15, he makes an enormous completion of Darius Slayton. I do not want to understate that huge 18-yard reception by Slayton, a great throw by Daniel Jones on that second down to 15. It could have got off to a really bad start. The Giants could have went three and out and had to punt the ball. That play, to me, characterized the whole game going forward. The first two drives are phenomenal. The ability to mix the pass and the run. The Giants ran the ball very well. Daniel Jones played fantastic today. Like I said, I've been overly critical of Daniel Jones with good reason at times, but he played very well. Did not turn the ball over second game in a row. I like to see that. This is all I've asked from, from Daniel Jones. He had a 34-yard touchdown run on RPO. He had another one taken back in a holding call, which was questionable. Uh, maybe Andrew Thomas did get a little bit of the jersey, but I thought that was a pretty clean play. But no turnovers, no really bad plays. Wayne Gallman has been phenomenal. I'm going to give a huge shout-out to Wayne Gallman. He, he has been unbelievable since he's been inserted into the starting lineup. I think the Giants need to keep Wayne Gallman. I think he'd be a great compliment to Saquon Barkley. You know, I, I could come on here and I could scream and yell and, and do backflip. Well, I can't do a backflip. I'm old. But, I, I, you know, I could go crazy, but I'm not. It's This isn't – I'm so happy. I'm just so happy. But at the end of the day, um, you know, like I said, I, I'm more relieved. Philly 500, that scotch tastes really good. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I don't smoke, so no victory scar, but a victory scotch. Perhaps we should do that every game. The defense – I will say this, the, I thought the Philadelphia Eagles offensive line did a really good job. I and mean, they ran the ball down our throats. Uh, Miles Sanders, Boston Scott, who kills us every game, had a huge touchdown run. Even Corey Clement got in on the action. Eagles did a really good job up front. The Giants defense on in, in the, the, run, the run defense has been pretty solid. I, maybe I'm already feeling the scotch. But the run defense has been solid all year. They, they're top 10 in rush defense, top 5 in yards per carry against. Eagles did a great job. They struggled passing. I thought Carson Wentz played a terrible game. Carson Wentz has declined uh, huge. Uh, there's no doubt about that. I, I thought Carson Wentz was a top quarterback in this league. I couldn't have been more wrong. The Eagle fans, you were stuck with him for four years, the next four years, and you can't get rid of him. His salary is way too much. Cap, it would be way too much. And then they bring in Jalen Hurts, and Jalen Hurts is not an NFL quarterback. It was a wasted pick. More than anything, I want to thank Doug Peterson. Doug Peterson is the worst coach in football. He is an absolute idiot. I don't know what else to say about it. He did a really poor job. He goes for it on fourth down when it's not warranted to go for it on fourth down. But the two-point conversion when you're down 21-17. to 17. Eagle fans, Cowboy fans, any fan, could you please tell me what he's thinking? That was enormous. That was an enormous, stupid call. Because once the Giants scored a field goal and made it 24-17, to 17, the Eagles could not win with a touchdown. Now, they did not score again. But it's a really stupid, questionable call. And I don't understand. I don't know what he's trying to do. I don't know if he was being full of himself. I don't understand. But that was really, really dumb to me. And I thought that was a huge turning point. I thought the Eagles had a lot of momentum at that point. And missing a two-point conversion, the big sack Leonard Williams got in there on the two-point conversion, I think that that changed the whole game around. I think that gave the Giants some momentum back down. And knowing that the Eagles needed a touchdown to take the lead, I think they may have relaxed a little bit. Daniel Jones was huge. Daniel Jones made huge throws. When the Eagles went down and made a 14-11 to 11 really quick to start the second half, Daniel Jones' response and that offense's response was enormous. They didn't get down on themselves. They didn't make stupid plays. They came out. Daniel Jones had a couple really nice throws. Great catches by Sterling Shepard and Golden Tate. They went right down and they scored again. This Giants team 
maybe turning the corner. The offensive line is beginning to really play much better. The Giants had 100 yards in the first half again. The Giants are really beginning to run the ball, and when you can run the ball, it enhances that RPO and that play action. Daniel Jones' RPO is only going to become more effective when the New York Giants are able to run the ball on a consistent basis, whether it's Goldman, whether it's Alfred Morris, whether it's Devontae Freeman, or Saquon Barkley going forward. As a New York Giants fan, you've got to be very excited about the prospects of Saquon Barkley running behind this offensive line. They're getting much better. Shane Lemieux is a, is, a, is a really good run blocker, and ever since he's been inserted into the lineup, which he did start today, the New York Giants have been um, really good on the ground. This is just such a huge win. I know we're 3-7, and seven, but it is a signature victory for Daniel Jones. Uh, he played so well today. He played well the last time, and he even overcame a bad drop by Darius Slayton, but Slayton made up for it with an enormous catch down the field. Uh, you know, just the adjustment that Slayton made, it was phenomenal. The New York Giants, I'm telling you, it's been a rough few years. This win feels amazing. We're three and seven. I feel I feel like we're seven and three. I know that this division's bad, and, I, and you know, I know that we're not a Super Bowl contender this year. It would be nice to win the division. You know, no more talking of tanking, no more talking of Trevor Lawrence, no more of any of that stuff. Yes, we still have holes to fill. Yes, Jamar Chase would be nice. Yes, Micah Parsons would be nice. Yes, it'd be nice to have an edge rusher and a cornerback too. The Giants having salary cap, you know, they, they got a good salary cap going forward. We can address a couple of these spots. The New York Giants could be a pretty decent team in 2021. This is baby steps. This is a first-year head coach and Joe Judge who has just done such a phenomenal, phenomenal job with this team this team is in every single game and the big thing is these games are building character the fact that the new york giants were able to close these last two games out has been enormous the fact that the eagles did not even have a chance at the end of that game the big fourth down play where they didn't make it all of a sudden it seemed real that we could actually pull this off and i knew that we could and this scotch is amazing philly 500 this is for you unbelievable feels good to win but like i said the new york giants man the, going forward we got two weeks to enjoy this guys two weeks to enjoy it before we play the Bengals. Bengals are definitely a team that we can beat we have two weeks to prepare for joe burrow and company and uh, you know if we win the eagles schedule is brutal listen it's not out of the realm of possibility the, the, even though we're even though our record is three and seven the, the thought of winning this division is real it is real this is a real goal that they could do Granted, whoever wins this division is going to get knocked out in the first round. But it, it would be a huge morale booster for this team. And people that talk about culture, the culture, the culture, winning builds culture. This team has been tested. This team has gone through hard times. And what I'm seeing from the New York Giants is exactly what I wanted to see at the beginning of the year. This team is learning to win. This team is improving every week. These type of things, these little building blocks go a long way going forward to the future of the New York Giants. While this may not be our year, uh, you know, like I said, going forward into 2021, it just, it feels good to win, man. To win two in a row, I don't remember the last time we won two in a row. I think it was 2018 that we won two games in a row. Um, being the Eagles for the first time in eight games, phenomenal feeling. Like I said, I could come on, yell, hoot, holler, celebrate. I did that um, in our stream today. But, you know, I listen, I, I'm going to say this too. I want to thank everybody. Giants fans, you you guys and girls are unbelievable. Like I said, the, the support it, for such a bad team. I, I love you guys and girls. We we will disagree on a lot of things. We will get up and down on each other. We'll do a lot of things. But much like the locker room, the fan base, winning builds culture. Winning heals a lot. Feels good to win two in a row. But I want to shout out all the Eagle fans on my channel. You guys, support you show me is overwhelming, man. It, it's amazing. Um you know, some of my favorite things is the way you respect my channel, even though I am a Giants fan and I give you guys hell. You guys are phenomenal, too. Cowboys fans, Eagles fans, Washington football teams fans, the NFC East fans that are not Giants fans that come into my channel and support the live streams, always there, commenting, watching the videos. I really, really appreciate it. I really do. At the end of the day, we're all diehard fans for our team. We all want what's best for our teams. There's no doubt about it. And the trash talking is always fun. But you know what? This was enormous for the New York Giants to get over the hump, to close out a game, to beat the Philadelphia Eagles. Turning the corner going forward, this could be a signature win for Daniel Jones and company. We cannot have a letdown out of the bye. The Giants got to come out and play exactly the way they did. Play with ferocity. Play with determination. Play 60 minutes of football. They did that today. They walked out of MetLife Stadium with a W, 2-0, and they finally, 
beat the damn Eagles. Thank you guys for everything. That's all I got in this post game video. Enjoy it, guys. We got two weeks to enjoy this victory. Till next time, guys. Bad diggity dizzle. I'm gone. Peace.